Hi Capricorn, this is your Twin Flame reading for June 2020. I hope you're doing well and keeping safe. So we're going to have a look and see what is coming through. And uh, yeah, I just want to, you know, remind you that if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. And if you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So I'm just wearing a bunch of the twin flame ones. The two main twin flame ones are in the middle. Um, and then I'm wearing the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine bracelets as well. So if you are interested in these, then they will be in the description box below. There'll be a link to my Etsy store and also they're handmade. They are sage. They're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. International shipping and also the other thing as well is if you want to see the reviews to see how other people have seen results for them, please do check out my Etsy store. Link will be in the description box below as well, as I mentioned. So... Everything is there. There's also um, hand embroidered intention cards which you can put on your pillow and your wallet or your purse and there is a twin flame one but there's so many other items on there as well. Okay so Capricorn. Page of Pentacles, okay, okay. Star card, this one just um, was underneath actually the star card, interestingly enough. Okay, here is what we got. The Knight of Swords. Ace of Wands, okay, <laughs> we've got some cards that flipped over here as well, right, so let's, let's, let's begin with what we have, to be honest, I've almost completed the entire spread anyway, so let's just shuffle the last card out, we might as well, because we're literally there, world card, world is ruled by Saturn, Star card is ruled by Aquarius, the Emperor is ruled by Aries. We've got here the High Priestess ruled by Pisces. Two of Wands. And let's go for the last card. All right, so here we go. I just, I, I, I'm not sure what else to really say here. Um, I mean, the fact that this just happens to be your last card and I was like, you know what, let's, let's just finish, let's just finish off this spread. Let's just top it off. The cherry on the cake, it's the lovers. I honestly don't know what else to say. I feel quite speechless because this spread is stunning. Absolutely stunning. This is a wish come true. This is wish fulfillment. This is you essentially having the growth and the progression in the twin flame connection that you have really desired. Now, is it a bit more on the slower side? Yes, but things that are slow sometimes, they can be okay. You know, that's the thing. So I see here you feeling much more fulfilled in this connection, um, slowly but surely. I see you getting here much more from your twin in terms of energy, in terms of um also messages and communication. We see here an olive branch, the Ace of Wands. For those of you that have had a very difficult connection, this is also a resolve. This is, you know, that olive branch being extended out. And also you have the Ace of the Two. This is also about bridging any distance because especially if you have had distance in your connection, this really is about, you know, maybe meeting them for the first time in a very, very long time because, um, you know, the whole health situation as well, it's been very, very difficult for those in long distance to actually be able to meet in person. So there is that potential here to meet in person, which I'm seeing, um, especially with this two of one. Now I will say we do have a lot of retrogrades, so I would definitely advise to, you know, check before you travel and, you know, that can help you avoid certain disruptions and things like that. Just want to just wanna say, you know, it could help someone. So that's um, one of the things. The High Priestess here shows you being really, really um, quite at a, like, 
your vibrational aura is going to be very, very high in terms of signs and synchronicities. You may feel like you're seeing a lot of dreams, you may feel like you're seeing a lot of repeating numbers, and that is just June as a whole, because you have so many retrogrades, right? Pluto, Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, um, Mercury <laughs> retrogrades, my goodness. Uh, five retrogrades. The energies are super potent, and you may feel like you're just dealing with absolutely everything all at once. I want you to know that this is the energy of the retrogrades that you are dealing with. Are they easy? No. Are they simple? No. But are you going to get through it? Yes. And that's the most important thing, okay? We go through retrogrades all the time. Do not be scared of retrogrades. That's not what, you know, we want to do. We don't want to be scared of retrogrades. We've gone through so many already. Um, but it is true, you know, when you start to research something a lot more, you start to think about it a lot more, it can, you know, really have an impact also in that sense as well. So, I say, don't worry about things, just keep your eyes peeled and just, you know, check before you travel and things like that. I mean, it's, it's also something that I feel a lot of people do anyways, so it's just something I thought I would um, mention. Okay, and yeah, King of Cups here shows the connection getting stronger. Your twin is also emotionally becoming much stronger and also much more mature. See, the Emperor here shows them taking action, but not just any kind of spontaneous action. This is them taking action in terms of them knowing what they want, being much more balanced, being much more mature as well. Um, it doesn't mean that they lose their their fun side, it just means that they, they make, they're serious when they need to be serious, you know what I mean? It's that kind of an energy, but not just serious as in like temper serious, you know, or, or you know, they become really fiery or anything like that. It's, it's more so they become serious in an emotionally connected way, where they also think about others too. So that's something that I feel some of you really needed to hear. Star card shows them thinking a lot about you. You know, it shows that they feel a lot towards you. They feel that you're rare, you're very genuine, you're a kind and very loyal person. And they feel like they're not going to find that anywhere else. And they also are feeling so much more awakened to this connection. I do want to make it clear that they're not just, you know, sticking around in this sense because they feel like they're not going to get better and you're the only choice. Like, that's not what I'm, I'm saying. I'm just saying that they, they feel that you are someone that they, they just won't find and naturally they feel this attraction towards you anyways so of course they would naturally want to progress with you you know what I mean it's not that they're leaving you um, um, as a uh, second best choice and they're like oh okay well nothing else is really any better so you know that's not what I'm seeing I'm seeing that they do really find you very attractive and you as a whole they find very attractive as well so thought I would I, I thought I would let you know the real the real sit situation, sit, the whole, the real sit, um, situation, so, uh, yeah, the eight of wands, as we mentioned, more communication, page to the night here, definitely shows growth in terms of their feelings towards you, and them slowly but surely coming towards you, okay, the, um, page to the night here, energy is quite slow, I know you're a Capricorn, so yes, you know, this can be that, but this is more their energy, to be honest, okay, so, just thought I'd tell you that, um, yes, they have attraction towards you, but also, they're pretty slow, but, they have understanding and they're trying to, you know, make every move count and they're trying to be um, as progressive as possible in regards to these moves and then we've also got, you know, a lot of physical attraction towards you. Knight of Swords is the communication progressing, the wild card here, is really about them thinking about you and thinking, wow, you know, attraction, chemistry, feelings, desire, it's really there towards you in that regard from their side, which I also think is quite significant, I'm not going to lie, that's a really very, very significant energy and they definitely have a lot of these feelings towards you, which I think also is quite significant, um, quite important, I would say, um, so that's what we've got there, um, the world card, yep, and then you've got here the high priestess, which shows, you know, you really feeling quite um, intuitive this month and well, June specifically, and also feeling very, very balanced at the same time, and, and just feeling, at times you may feel also emotional, but the lovers here really does showcase this sense of them having feelings towards you and you having feelings towards them, and it just shows here a lot of bloom and growth in this connection, which you will also see in terms of signs, synchronicities, and dreams, but also your twin will see as well, so there's a lot of growth here that I pick up on. Wow! <laughs> what a reading, right? What a reading. So this is your reading and if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway and of course my intention items which are on Etsy and do take care.